hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we will be doing this setup i created this backdrop a while back that i wanted to do i wanted to do something super creative and i love anything home decor so i wanted to do something that bridge home decor and balloons so i painted this backdrop that i made um it's like the little abstract walls that you see in different homes with the wood panels and they painted different colors or maybe one all color and i already had these color balloons so that's why i painted it this color so i can use the balloons that i already purchased and i used on the back of the backdrop to attach the balloons the uh clear adhesive hooks so let's jump into it the first color i'll be using is gray all the use i um all the balloon colors i used and brand was by collison so i use gray stone and lime green and i'm using the 260 to make a, a um like a loop and then i attach it to the hook just like that i find it much easier than trying to wrap my balloons around each other so now i'm just tying each cluster neck to neck i use clusters of stick uh six balloons or clusters of four balloons and then here i'm jumping in using a 24 inch balloon when you use your 24 inch balloons you don't want it to stick out you want it to kind of blend in with the balloons and not just poke out on the side like how i just did there i'm trying to play around with it to make sure it's still show but not sticking out too much um, and right now, um, just thickening out the bottom. I didn't want this to be a huge garland. I wanted this something really small but impactful. So I wanted to keep it like really short and um, like thick but short, if that makes sense. <laughs> and I made these mini garlands of five inch balloons don't kill me i do have some previous videos um i would try to link them in the description box of me making these i did make a video i believe it's in um an outdoors one the red and white if i'm not mistaken but i did do a little snippet of how i made them and i'm just tying them together and the five inches alone i probably use like over 100 balloons for the lime green for those five inches and I'm just tying them to each other to make it thicker. And I did attach another hook to it so I can um, bring it there. And I'm just extending it down. And I end up removing this because I didn't want it to go all the way down. I kind of left it going from the top to like the middle of the other colors. So I end up moving it. But when I do attach my 5-inch mini garlands, I like to tie it in several different places. I don't tie it in the just the, the top and the bottom. I like to tie it in the middle, maybe several times in the middle at different points. Because I like it when it's like bendy and it's like blending in with the garland and not just sitting on top of it. So I even like to push it into my 11-inch or 16-inch balloons. I don't want it to just sit on top. So I tie it in different places. As you see even now, I'm trying to play with it and see how I want it and I end up twisting it back I thought that was really neat so I end up twisting it back like that and you see I'm still tying it in different places and I'm kind of blocking this right here but I'm tying it in the middle to kind of close up that gap so I'm just tying it as many different places that I can to get the shape that I want and just playing around with it and I end up moving that 24 inch balloon uh, moving it up some to try to blend it in and so back to my inspiration of all i wanted to add some type of black metal because i love black metal in the home um i have black metal in my home like my dining room table have a little bit of black metal and my chairs i just love black metal in the home i think it really breaks up um the texture and gives it a little extraness in the house so i of course i couldn't find anything black metal and we doing balloons so i figured why not use black floral i thought it was really different my niece was so excited when she seen it she's like oh my gosh so this is me playing around with the floral i didn't leave it like this i end up making it in like one bunch and i end up moving what i have right now on the left side to just the middle and i just put all the floral in one space and actually which was under unintended a little bit the floral end up looking like the top of the garland the green which i thought was so cute because it kind of gave it like the same shape and it went down and got big so i thought it was so cute it's so it's so crazy how when you build in these different designs and sometimes you 
you building it and you're you're not really seeing the vision to afterwards and you're like oh my gosh like <laughs> like you know what you want kind of but sometimes you don't really see the full picture until afterwards but this is how everything came out you guys this video was just really to show how you can do whatever you want with these balloons you can whatever you love to do outside of balloons bring it to balloons and create some kind of look and i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe see you in the next one Bye.